the most awkward of leadership spills. A lower house Liberal team of two fighting over which one should lead their decimated party. I would not be undertaking this role if I didn't believe that I could make a significant impact on the direction of the Liberal Party going forward. Libby Metham and David Honey were the only lower house Liberal survivors two years ago. Mr Honey took on the leadership then, but Ms Metham says it's time for a change and she's confident she has the numbers to make it happen. I would not be undertaking uh, such a significant move if I did not believe uh, that I had uh, the broad support of the Liberal Party. That decision will be made by Liberal MPs at a party room meeting on Monday, with colleagues believing Miss Metham has majority support. But the incumbent says he's not going anywhere. I'll be going to that meeting on Monday. I'm talking to my members now. Uh, with the full intention of standing, uh, remaining as the parliamentary leader of the Liberal Party. And the Cottesloe MP insists he holds no hard feelings. And regardless of what happens on Monday, Libby and I will continue to have a great working relationship. If the spill succeeds, it'll give the Liberal Party its sixth leader in less than six years, with Colin Barnett, Mike Nahan, Lisa Harvey, Zach Kirkup, David Honey and now potentially Libby Metham all having served in the top job. Whether it's David Honey or Libby Metham leading the party following Monday's meeting, the task ahead for the Liberals is enormous. After the 2021 state election bloodbath, the opposition needs to win an extra 24 seats to topple the McGowan government. And the opposition is now facing upheaval on multiple fronts. The Liberal spill came within hours of Mayor Davies announcing her intention to stand down as Nationals leader, with her replacement to be picked next week. How the opposition alliance will work going forward is unclear for now. I will uh, leave that commentary until after a decision has been made next week. Welcome to my paradise. Big decisions looming as David Honey fights to keep his job. Jacob Kagey, ABC News.